Well, hello, fellow cruise fans. Jeff here, and let's have some fun today. Let's talk about themed cruises. There's a bunch of them out there, and some are pretty bizarre. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the concept of a themed cruise, it's a cruise that shines a spotlight on a certain hobby, lifestyle, or interest. They may have lectures, entertainment, special activities, and even itineraries that go along with the theme. It can be a full ship themed cruise like an 80s theme where you'd have decorations, music, performers, and other icons of the 80s throughout the ship. Or it could be a partial ship theme where a special interest group would buy a number of cabins and then market them to people who have an interest in that subject. In that case, the other cruisers probably wouldn't even be aware that there were 500 quilters, scrapbookers, or Barry Manilow fans on board. Let's take a look at some of the recent and upcoming themed cruises, and then I'll tell you about a themed cruise that I'd be interested in going on if someone were to create it. Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Seas hosted not one, but two Taylor Swift themed cruises this year. This is a sailing that was put together by four travel agents, and they make it clear that this is in no way affiliated with Taylor Swift. I think I heard that both of those cruises sold out. Now, there's another Taylor Swift themed cruise on Royal Caribbean's Allure of the Seas, departing from the Port of Miami on October 21st. Are you a fan of the Golden Girls? Yes, I'm talking about the TV show. Evidently, a lot of people are because there's a Golden Girls themed cruise in September in the Mediterranean on the Celebrity Ascent, and another one next year in the Caribbean on the Celebrity Reflection. Die-hard fans get together for character costume dress-up parties, trivia, parody shows, and visits with special guests who were affiliated with the show in one way or another. And speaking of old TV shows, Princess Cruise Lines is doing a love boat cruise coming up soon on August 31st on The Enchanted Princess. One of my favorite princess ships, by the way. Several members of the cast are going to be on that sailing along with meet and greets, trivia, special activities, love boat episodes airing on the movies under the stars, and so much more. The new Sun Princess is hosting the Magic Castle's Conjurer's Cruise in November for those of you who really like magic. Lots of magic-themed lectures, shows, and memorabilia are going to be on display, plus several magic performances by magicians, including Michael Carbonaro. And of course, I need to mention the big nude boat cruise on the Norwegian Pearl coming up in February. Yep, it's a cruise for those who enjoy living a nudist lifestyle. Of course, there are some rules if you want to sail on this cruise. Some of them make sense, and others rather surprise me. For instance, you need to sit on a towel. Now, according to what I read, that's common nudist etiquette. I didn't know. Also, no sexy lingerie or excessive jewelry. Now, they aren't talking about earrings and necklaces. They're talking about, well, jewelry on your junk. Ironically, they're also having a costume contest, which I think would kind of defeat the purpose. But then again, what do I know? By the way, let's take just a moment to recognize the room stewards, servers, and staff who have to spend the entire cruise averting their gaze. We salute you. If you would be so kind as to click that thumbs up button for this video, I would greatly appreciate it. That lets the big wigs at YouTube know that people like you like this video, and then they're more likely to recommend it to others. And if you want to really be a nice person, please subscribe to the Backroads Tourist Channel. I have a lot of fun bringing you videos on cruising as well as visiting some fun places all over the country, and I sure hope you have fun watching them too. So if there's anyone watching who puts these kinds of specialty cruises together, I just want to let you know that I'd probably be the first person in line for a Godzilla cruise. Ever since I was a kid, I have loved that big old lovable lizard. Not a big fan of the last Godzilla Kong movie, but I thought that Godzilla Minus One was brilliant. But I digress. I love it, but my wife probably wouldn't, which means that she'd be spending more time in the shops and the casino, which would lead to greater profits for the cruise line. So what about you? If you could wave a wand and have a themed cruise appear, what would it be? Let's have some fun with this, but keep it clean, okay? Also, have you ever been on a themed cruise? What was it? And what did you think? Let's talk about it in the comments section. Thank you for watching today, and a special thanks to those of you who have subscribed to the channel. I appreciate your support, and I appreciate you. 
I'm Jeff. I hope to see you on a future cruise.